Hello, thank you for joining me. It's Saturday, the 2nd of November. Okay, I'm here with a tarot card reading for you. If you're new to this channel, please do like and subscribe. Don't forget there's a link in the description to my website. And there's a book a reading page on there. Wherever you are in the world, you can book a reading. I do them by Zoom and it's very easy to set up. Just remember they're UK times on my website. So check your time zone before you book. All right, let's see who comes out. Right, I'm going with that one and I'm going with that one. That one fell out. And that one kind of came along afterwards. So we've got the chariot and we've got the two of swords. I love this chariot energy. I feel like this is us literally taking that energy with that new moon and in taking that energy and running with it. The chariot is actually linked to the moon. I don't know if you can see it on this one. I don't think you can, but on the traditional Rider Waite Smith card, you've got um, moons on the guy's armor and on his chariot. Um, that is because it's also linked to the star sign of Cancer. Now, actually, Cancer, you wouldn't maybe think it, but it's one of the most ambitious signs in the Zodiac. They certainly are very determined if they want to get where they want to go. They might go bad it slightly sideways, but they do. And this kind of ties in with this chariot energy of being pulled in two directions. You've got the black horse there and the white horse. And the charioteer is trying to keep them on the path. That pretty much sums up life, doesn't it? Of just trying to keep on that path of where we want to go. And it ties in very much with this two of swords energy and the duality that comes with the number two of having, you know, this idea and this idea. And what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? But I feel the chariot is coming in to say that actually the two um, options, one is our human ego brain and the other is our intuition. And really, we want to be led by our intuition now. We haven't got the time, I feel, to stall and to just stop and to go the wrong way. I mean, you know what, if you take the wrong turn in, it, you, you can feel that it's not right. So you can just quickly make a change and, and hopefully get back on the right path. I do feel that there's movement needed here. So this energy for me doesn't sit too well. This is now a time for moving forward. We've done a lot of inner work recently. We've done a lot of exploring our emotions and working out our mind and all that kind of stuff. But we're, um, we're working with that new moon energy that came in yesterday. We had the animals um, accompanying that, didn't we? We had that wow and we had the gorillas and we were talking, if you didn't see it, go back and have a look. But I was talking about this kind of earthy energy with the gorillas and the spirit of the wow, the essence of the universe. And we've got it here again with the major cards and the minor card, the minor, major card being the universe going, come on, get on with it. And us going, oh, no, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> some of you will really resonate with that. Some people just find it really hard to make a decision. But actually, this is almost being taken out of your hands and making things happen. So if you get an unexpected call or suddenly find yourself in a place that you didn't expect to see, B, just go with it because you are being pushed and put in the right direction. I feel I want to pick an angel card to go with that. Um, I feel like there's an element of reassurance that you need um, because of that Two of Swords card. It can be so debilitating, that Two of Swords, when we're just literally stuck. But um, we don't need to be. Sometimes that can be self-imposed. So let's see what the angels say about that. Do, do, do. Archangel Raphael, I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me, which is lovely. Um, I do feel, yes, that angel is behind this chariot giving an almighty push. So you might find that actually some of the restrictions that you've put in yourself or maybe you haven't felt up to making changes, but now you're feeling a little bit physically better. Or it could be people that put obstacles in your way are suddenly somewhere else. And you can get on and do what it is that you need to do. I hope that helps. I'll be back again tomorrow with another reading for you. So please do join me then. Bye for now.